we're in this car rolling down the street and there's just this cube block after block after block after block i'm looking out the window and i turn to the girl from the publisher i said is there a sale on <laughs> and we turned the corner oh, and there was this enormous barnes and noble and i thought and the queue snaked up the street, up the Barnes and Noble, up through four floors. And they took me in the back entrance, they opened the door, and they screamed. They screamed. So and all these light bulbs went off in my face. And I was on the train, I was 25. And it came, and what came was, boy doesn't know he's a, he's a wizard, goes to wizard in school. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a monster. And then that was it, and that was like touch paper, and I was on this delayed train going from Manchester to London and my head was just flooding with what's at this wizard school there are four houses there are ghosts there are house ghosts uh, what do they teach what subjects do they learn who are the teachers and I I had no pen I felt it would be a betrayal of the character if I showed Harry doing anything other than living what all along he has discovered to be true which is that love is the strongest power there is. readers find at the end of the last book is that this has been a story about the redemptive power of love. This one's for the lonely, the ones that seek and find, only to be let down time after time. This one's for the torn down, the experts at the fall. Come on friends, get up now, you're not alone at all. Oh, 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 oh. It comes and goes in ways I... This one's for the faithless, the ones that are surprised. They're only where they are now, regardless of their fight. This one's for believing, if only for its sake. Come on friends, get up now. For the world.